the retconning in Dragon Ball too reckless. So I mentioned this. I've definitely met, I've definitely said this idea in the past um, about like because this relates directly to like the GT conversation that we had last week, and mm. and like I watched that episode back, and brother Ooch, my brother the entire time he was <laughs> he was funny because he was talking as if like. I was trying to make it make sense. Like, like I was saying, hey, it is canon verbatim. That's it. He was yeah, trying yeah. to, yeah, you remember, like, <laughs> he was trying to basically say that, like, he was trying to prove, like, it's not and it wouldn't make sense. We already know that, right? So I'm going to just reiterate that my, my, whole, my whole point to last week's discussion on this episode or on this podcast was that thinking like a Toei person or someone in that position of power where historically they don't care about canon. And that's, that's, that's actually like a Japan thing overall. Canon really doesn't matter. They just like do things. And that's really it with no consequence. Now, obviously that's conflicting because when you're trying to understand a story from point A to Z or, you know, however you know however long or short it is there needs to be some sort of continuity right there can be side stories but notice the side stories don't necessarily conflict with what's mainly happening right then there's spin-offs right spin-offs are different because a spin-off is usually like something along the lines of uh like a different approach or take to something that's already happened Right. But again, that's what we hate to use this phrase non canon or canon, but that's how people understand it. Right. So, with the whole GT discussion, just to, I mean, it's already put at rest, but, you know, sometimes people need, need a little bit more of an explanation to help them understand better is simply that GT is currently in a position where, yes, it wouldn't make sense with you know taking everything into consideration that's been happening within the last several years with super alone you know obviously there is no god key in gt there is no ultra instinct ultra ego there's no beast there's none of that obvious shit there's not even broly in gt right gt has super saiyan 4 has the golden ozaru has the Omega Shenrons, the Black Star Dragon Balls, Baby Vegeta, Super 17, even a freaking appearance from the original Cell and Frieza when Goku went down to hell and fought them as Kid Goku, handled them with no problem, right? All of that happens in GT. That did not happen in Super, clearly. So, you know, when you put two and two together, naturally, it wouldn't, it wouldn't fit at all. GT at that point is it's almost like it's retconned out um but when you're someone like when you're a company like Toei that doesn't necessarily give you straight answers as far as you know how things like how things should be looked at or perceived they just want everybody to enjoy whatever they put out which on a business standpoint marketing standpoint makes perfect sense because you want people to buy all your products you know you don't want people to come to your store and then just maybe look at one thing and that's all they're getting and the rest of the store is a, is a barren wasteland you know what i'm saying same concept same principle it makes sense on that front but again to reiterate by no means was i trying to canonize gt all i was saying was to them it is canon because everything to them is canon in its own way so that's it that's all i was trying to say but as far as if we if they were to take that approach to try to make some sort of sense out of it the one thing that i know that i've brought this up in the past is there would need to be a new character introduced almost on some xenoverse type shit right where the character would have to come in and would have to have some sort of wild ass ability where the, it would directly affect everybody that we've seen on screen, at least within Universe 7, right? And 
all that character would have to do is basically pull a men in black freaking wipe everyone's memory but it wouldn't I remember this <laughs> yeah right it wouldn't just have to be a memory wiping it would almost have to be like an experience wiping in a sense because it's just like because imagine a scenario similar like put put the characters that we have from super right all everything that we've seen up to this point including the superhero movie right all of that and now inject it in gt so the first thing that realistically it wouldn't work is freeze is dead in gt freeze is very much alive in super so unless this character was to kill this frieza like right then and there the whole concept there's so many flaws at the base level just off of people who are dead versus who are alive going forward so it's already it's already a struggle it's already difficult but for the argument's sake to play devil's advocate right you'd have to have th this character really just manipulate this entire situation like all these situations just for gt to line up so that it could happen but then it's like okay well if you're gonna wipe experience and memories and you're gonna somehow make people that were not there not there or people that were there not there like oh, whatever right that would that would cause for some weird rifts i still think at that point so ultimately i just i i, I kind of think that what they really should do is number one they should hire some fire some of the, the higher ups okay just let them go okay because i don't know if they would be so willing to do this but they need more younger folks that are a little bit more open-minded and more accepting of other ideas and concepts that could be implemented that would actually breathe way better life into dragon ball as a whole and it, it starts very simply with legitimizing certain works that are already there and i'm not trying to sell this and turn this and twist this into a legend episode again right because you already know how we feel yes we would love legend to have its own like that is a true um acknowledged and respected spinoff that has a presence it's like an alternate timeline right that would be dope should happen start the dragon ball universe right because it's like marvel universe except not but do it here with dragon ball and this actually brings us back to i know we did an episode on this and this is this is this is definitely an origin right because this is when it was just me and you right so here we are the how what better way to pay pay back an homage to that right when you showed me the young gg fucking shits okay dude <laughs> yes yes he knows <laughs> He knows, dude. Oh my god, he knows exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, so like, the young Gigi. Okay, for those that might not know, and I, I, I definitely don't remember the number episode that we did, right? But to put it to sum it up, and obviously, I mean, if you guys want to go back and find it, then you're obviously you're a real one, okay? Right. But those episodes where you get to see like the roots and origins of like how we used to do all things and, and whatever so go check those out those are actually going to not be on this channel they're going to be on my personal channel on the full power podcast playlist with it probably under season one um but i think i actually have that playlist on the channel that will bring you to that channel but either way okay young gg right this artist is one of the more known dragon ball artists who actually was uh you could kind of compare him to toyotaro's uh situation right because toyotaro i believe used to do dragon ball af right his own fucking fan mangas i'm pretty sure from what i've Damn. seen and, and and heard of in the past right and then look what happened they brought him on right so not to say that it could never happen again i feel like it should in this situation but like Young Gigi has already taken taken it upon himself to literally make stories that could essentially tie in existing non-canon works in Dragon Ball in the main continuity. And the way that, right, that man makes that man makes shit work that was never supposed to work. Right. 
Exactly. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm just like, dude, like, <laughs> like, like the one example, and this has everything to do with GT was literally the part during the Goku Black arc when Black, there's a point in time where he like goes back to train. And the next time we see him, that's when he has Super Saiyan Rose. But how did he get it? Right. And in this story that Young Gigi writes, he wrote it where he went to another timeline by accident. Like he didn't go to the right time. He went to the GT time and he finds Goku and he fights him. And literally, obviously at this point, Goku has Super Saiyan 4. And so Goku's fighting Goku Black. And we get to see shit like we saw like Super Saiyan 3. G Goku we Black. saw Super Saiyan 1 verse 1, 2 verse 2, 3 verse 3. Yeah, like he'd monkey see monkey dude off Goku. Like, yeah. OD. He was teaching him the forms by accident. Mm hmm. And they, they kept the, and the, and the characters were written so well because, like, Goku Black was like, I know you have something else that you're hiding. And then Goku was like, Yeah, you know, you, you got me and all this. And then he's like, All right, no holding back. Ah, <gasps> powers up. Super Saiyan 4. So we're seeing Super Saiyan 4 versus Goku Black, right? And. It was essentially through fighting Goku that brought out the, like, you know, the Super Saiyan with this God key that he obviously already had and brought out Super Saiyan Rose. So this is where he gets it. But it was because, and, and understand this, guys, you have to really listen to what I'm about to say, okay? Because of, it was a Goku versus Goku, essentially, right? Same bodies, even though Goku Black is obviously, you know, ma ma <laughs> machine maneuvered, right, by Zamasu, right, as a reminder for those I forgot, that makes that body of Goku already have God key, essentially, but it's still Goku's body, it's still the same frame, right? And because of that, GT Goku, because again, same person in body at least he was able to essentially tap into his self right and he stacked god key on super saiyan 4 <laughs> and that shit was fire i don't even remember what it was called what they called it <laughs> right but there was a there was a name for it and like it looked amazing and I thought it was so sick and I didn't expect that shit to happen and I popped off. And then the way they were able to kind of like handle, well, how does that, how would that ever make sense going forward in GT? Like now, like how can we never see it? No, they, they, he, trust me, he covered all his bases. He made sure that everything was put back in place the way it was, despite them showing us something new. And this is what I need if they're gonna do retcons or they're gonna they're gonna try to do all of these like you know stories that could essentially write in uh, moments that did not happen originally. And I think stuff like that would be super dope, and I would be uh, so with it. So yeah, I I need I need Young Jeezy, GG, Young Jizzle. I need him back in here. Yeah. <laughs> I need them to hire this man and I need them to basically give the stamps of approval and sell his shit officially so that way all of those stories tie in. And guess what? I think if they were to do something like that on a marketing standpoint, dude, it would be one of the greatest things to ever happen because they could then tie that right back into the main story because what was the other thing that I had said? In Super, Frieza building an army imagine if his army was all of those characters all of those villains from all of those movies and boom they're all canon now in some crazy fucking way she would be fucking sick she would be sick oh my god so so what Yo. are, what are your thoughts on all of this and what what ideas might you change or do different or whatever 
I I remember I remember reading that young Gigi thing and that shit looks so official like artwork and everything like the story was way too over and so I knew that part wasn't real but <laughs> everything else looks so real that I just I was obviously blown away like I read it and like my jaw dropped because I was like yo he fixed it like <laughs> he fixed it <laughs> he fixed it like I, <laughs> I didn't think it could be done but here it is right in front of me right yeah so I definitely I would love to see him you know get his uh get his bread because that shit's fucking crazy yeah and i know i know he could do so many more stories just like it because it's like you said it it follows with the main continuity it's just extra material that we're given that can connect everything together toya wants to act like everything's fucking canon anyway because everything makes the money fine at least fix your shit facts that's please it's, it's that simple yeah it is that simple i mean like it's a matter of perspective and i guess like what they deem as like something that they would want to work on i guess because honestly it's like obviously at the end of the day they're gonna they're gonna only they're gonna always go with what they think is gonna make them more money or be successful and 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 i'll also bring this up right originally toriyama it was never his idea to bring back broly okay not not even to bring him back but to just use the character and then it was his version that would essentially make it official because it was from toriyama who's the original creator of dragon ball dragon ball z right so it was akio yoku the homie the oyoku is like the right hand man to toriyama okay it was because of yoku that is the reason why we got Broly because he brought to Toriyama's attention because Mans is paying attention. He's around here scouting and looking and seeing how things are. All the data that I basically pulled off of my fucking memory banks and just looking at how things were done over the several years during the Dragon Ball drought. I mean, like Broly was so popular. Mans was like on every cover of like every game and was a part of any kind of DLC whenever applicable. Like even, even to more recent things, Dragon Ball Fighters, Broly and Bardock were the first two DLC characters for fighters. And then when season two came out, even when people didn't think that the super Bro Broly would be in that game, I knew not because anyone told me. Why would people me. think that though? That's so, there's no way. What do you mean? There was no way he wasn't going to be in the oh, game. Oh, right. Exactly. Like, like that. And that's what I, that's what I mean. What's common sense to us might, may not be so for a lot of other people. But again, that's why we're here, right? We're here to just elaborate and talk about, educate, enlighten, and entertain. Know, that was pretty obvious. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I was, I was in line with, with with my dude Yipes. Okay. For anyone that's into this, in the fighting game community, you know, obviously who Yipes is. If you don't look him up and you'll see he is a legend in the fighting game community okay and yipes is a homie right so he knew who i was so we dapped it up and he straight up was like you know we, we chopped it up a little bit and i asked him i was like yo because he was at the time he was like one of the head commentators for the game so like he did the official bandai streams you know what i'm saying like he was on those johns commentating and doing all that shit. so he he might obviously know some people in, in the inner works and so i asked him i said yo so do you think that they're gonna because we were in line for the broly movie like this is 2019 january when this happened right this is with the early release so i me and brandon was there so feeling special as all hell because i'm like yo they invited yipes here they invited fucking me wow that's od like this was invite only so i'm over here talking with yipes i'm like yo so do you think that they're gonna put this broly in fighters and he goes nah he goes, nah, it's not gonna happen. Whether whether he was just trying to, you know, hold on that information, that that remains to be seen. Cause he could have he could have definitely been white lying me, you know what I'm saying? Which he did a definitely he did a good job on that. But in my head, I was like, what? You don't think he's gonna be in this fucking? And man, and then was it literally that same month at towards the end of the January or early February, they had an official stream announcing season two dlc and motherfucker broly was they first of all they never did this before they never gave you all the characters especially the last one they straight up told you he was going to be the last character in season two i was like bro 
Of course they're gonna jump on that shit. Come on. Like, it's Broly, son. Fucking green, making that green, you know? Oh. So. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, like, as far as, like, I mean, we're pretty, like, we're pretty much, like, thinking the same when it comes to, like, what how they should handle this. I mean, Young Gigi is definitely one of those things. Like, do, do you have any other, like, retcon solutions <laughs> that they that they could we, do we're we're long past the point of solutions because they've stacked way too many retcons on top of each other where i'm just kind of like throwing my hands up like fuck it i'm gonna just watch it mm -hmm. that's fair <laughs> run, run this shit yeah run it yeah it is what it is then um yeah that's 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 basically like i would say the best ways to go about it you know first the first thing i mentioned with having a character that would have the ability to wipe memories and experience i mean that's kind of just half the freaking issue right then and there because again there's characters that were not in gt that are currently alive now and even at the beginning of gt when remember when goku's fighting oob in the time chamber and Goku legitimately references Frieza directly. He's like, oh man, like you, like this is almost as, as tough as my fight with Frieza. And like, Frieza was dead. So, and I'm, I don't know, but, and then obviously, there's, there's too many. Yeah. Yeah. And then the big one, which I honestly would much rather them do, is to go, go the young Gigi route, go the, the route of just allowing more like, very um not head ass but like head focused um stories that make everything else make more sense so that everything has because think about it, if they do that then people are gonna care more about all those movies and then guess what people are gonna start buying those shits again for no fucking reason you know like i'm pretty sure if you go to ja uh, amazon japan you can actually get the re-released blu-ray movies that are remastered um which they did not do for america of course it's japan only but it exists it definitely exists so see and and don't forget like everything we're, we're mentioning like these are all sub solutions <laughs> to fix the clear retconning issue because the main solution we've talked about a couple times already it's just marvel this shit right. just make it a multiverse just literally like l let it happen yeah because then they can they can do exactly as they have been except it would be okay yeah 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 i agree i totally agree oh that's that good shit <laughs>